Hey everybody, it's Miss A and I'm here with um, another STEM fair research um, video. Our essential question for the day was how can we help, um, how can research help us formulate our hypothesis? So we talked about this um, and we practice taking the information that was in this slide and actually paraphrasing it to take our research notes, like how we should research. So it says, before we can actually begin, we must do some research to help build our background and help us make informed decisions later when we are designing our hypothesis. Remember, we researched soda can labels in our mock STEM fair to help us make our decision regarding carbonation in Coca-Cola products. Topics to research should be related to your testable topics. So... Um, we talked about research to help build background and help us make informed decisions. And then also topics should be related to their topic research. So we talked about that, and that was a journal entry, so it should just be a few um, sentences. So here we talked about our products to be used in our investigation. So here are our two investigations. My AM class, which is the top class, they're doing something with cell phones. And we'll go over what that is in a minute. And then the bottom class is doing something with the soccer balls. So um, we were looking at product information since this is a consumer um, project. So here we had to brainstorm some ideas. And so here are the topics for the two classes. The morning class is, does the manufacture of a cell phone charger affect the amount of time it would take to charge a cell phone? And... Um, the second class is, does the mass of a soccer ball affect the distance it will travel? And so they had to talk about some researchable ideas. So the first class talked about, obviously, researching the companies that make the cell phone chargers, um, getting the information about the cell phone chargers themselves, surge protectors, phones, lots of different things. The second class talked about researching a catapult because we are doing kind of a um, – a slingshot type deal with this, um, researching the soccer balls, researching um, the materials that were needed. So we talked about different ideas. So they wrote some ideas in their notebook as well that we brainstormed together. And so that was the notebook stop that they needed to write. Um, and this was written on the board for them during class. Um, here is a virtual library um, information piece. Let me go ahead and get into there. So the children can access our virtual library um, if they go through um, the school website. And let me get here. Let it come up. So here they go to students and it's right under here under library media services. If you click on that link and then you will come down to elementary because that's what we're in and you click on elementary and then in there will be the different um, media sources now this is really good for when we're doing our social studies information so let me kind of show you what I mean there like here we can go the world book online and if I want to get information I would go to choose a world book product um, early world learning, kids, students, timelines. So there's lots of different early peoples. So for um, my morning class, if we wanted to go into early people, we could talk, let's see if we have um, Native Americans. Let's see what's in here. And so here are some links to information. So this might be a site that they could use definitely for social studies, but for my um, second group, we have to, we're learning about um, slingshots or catapults. And so we can go into here and we can put catapult in here and it can give us some information. Catapult, P-U-L-T. Give us some information with regard to catapults and we can read some more so that we can er learn about the history of a catapult and how it works so we can get some information from here. The thing about our projects is they are consumer projects. So my children should be looking at Amazon.com because that is where we are actually getting the stuff from. So the children will be going to Amazon and they will be searching if they are doing in my morning class, it would be a Android charger. 
Now they aren't purchasing anything. They are just looking at item information. Android charger, and they do have um, the information on the companies in which we are using for. So we're using um, Sakoto and we're using Celltech or Celltronic, excuse me, because they have matching types of cords, um, braided cords. So we were looking for a certain thing. So here's one of the companies. This is Sakoto. So they would go into that and they know how to find them. We practice in class. We also practice paraphrasing. So in here, um, they might write um, high speed cord. Well, what does that mean to them? So in their words, they're saying it's high speed. What does that mean to us? Well, that means that it charges fast. Six foot premium nylon braided USB. They could say six foot nylon because we need to know that it's six foot and nylon is the type of material. And we are using nylon in both of them. We also talked about going into the rating and the coding or the rating and some of the reviews to help us since we are doing a consumer project, which means we're working with things that people consume. It is good to know about the ratings and to understand, um, to understand some of the different things that are put through, um, the different reviews that are put through on them. So we looked at this first one, which happens to be a negative one. And the reason why it was negative wasn't with regard to the actual product. It was with regard to the amount of time that it said it would take. Um, so that was one of the things that uh, um, right here, it does say that the cables worked well. So that wasn't an issue, it was just the amount of time that it took, especially if you're looking at Prime. So we talked about that. We also talked about writing down the prices, comparing the prices um, and different objects because it is a consumer project. So we need to know what are what are we gonna buy? And the two com companies are Sakoto, which was that one I just showed you, and Celtronics. Let me see if I can find them in here. Hold on. Let me see if I'll, I'll search for them. So code is right there. Let me see if I can. There we go. So there are the, that's the other company and we will get matching um, colored cords so that there isn't a variation in that. But you would click on the actual object. There's the price there. We will get the specs information. Hold on, computer's running a little slow today. So right here it says it's a hard, a high speed charger. Um, it talks about speeds up to 2.4. Uh, let's see here, extra long cord, compact connector, super compatibility. So, and it also does say that you can compare with similar items. So they should be getting item um, specs information from here about the product itself. And then it does say, you know, attaching with these items here. So, all right, so that is my first group. That is my morning group. So now the afternoon group will also be doing um, consumer research. And it's okay to do it off of Amazon because that's where we're buying the product. And it does give us some information um, with regard to the product we're buying. So this one, soccer ball, because we are purchasing the balls off of here. Um, and it is this first company, and we're getting both of them from this first company, the American um, Challenge Brasilia Soccer Ball. They come in varying sizes, which is why I chose this company, and I can get the same color for, any, for either of the size. So they should be getting some information about the product here. Here it talks about it being super shiny outer casting material. So that we would just say shiny material, hybrid bladder, air holds two to four weeks. So that how long the air holds in there. It talks about how many panels, 
Um, balls are sold as singles, not as a set of five. Okay, that's good to know. Not that I plan on buying that many. Um, but they should be getting their item information. And if you click on the item, here are some reviews. We can get into the reviews and you can get the information from there. And so they should be So that's information about different customer reviews and items that they could use in there. Just trying to go through here. You can click on the actual ball to get more information. And if we scroll down, I believe it should have, there we go, some product descriptions. So we know some information. So we know the company was around since 1973. We can gather that information. Um, and it talks about the backing material, the casting material, the stitching, the bladder. The bladder what holds the air on the inside. And then it talks about product details. Um, so they've got information in here as well. So this, both the students should be looking in Amazon.com to get information. And my second class can look up information on slingshots or catapults. Um, I hope this video helps. I sh um, research is due to me on the, oh wait, I'm still not done. Research is due to me on Friday. And let's go ahead and finish looking at this uh, research slide video so you know what the kids saw. All right, so um, this is where they had time in class to do some research with us. So we went on to Amazon and we looked at some information. So these are the musts. These are the things they have to have. They need to record the full web addresses. They need to take notes and making sure that the notes are in their own words. And there was a notebook stop to do that. And this is what is expected um, in their research log. So they do have to fill out... Um, a paper that looks like this. Let me go ahead and put this up here. These are their notes where they are comparing their two items. So for the first group, this is the Sokoto and this is the Celtronics where they're talking about what do they say in their words and how do I put it in my words. The second group, this one is the size two ball. This one is the size five ball. And then in addition to this paper, they have to do a STEM entry. So they've already got the notes they took in class. That's done. And now here they have to do. Based on my topic and they need to insert what the topic is. I am researching and they need to talk about what are they researching. So for us, it's either the balls or the cell phone chargers or even a catapult or a slingshot. They are summarizing what they gained from the research. So what information did they learn? Well, I learned that um, Celtronic says that they um, have a speed of 2.4 and Sokoto has a speed of 2. So this is what I've learned. Then there might be additional questions. And one of the suggestions from one of my students was, well, you know, maybe the braided nylon cords don't work as well as the plastic cords. And that might be where we're going to go next. Or maybe this particular ball didn't do well, but the other ball did well. So that's what they need to do for their research um, STEM entry. Again, it does include this form, and they both started this in class, and it includes a journal entry that addresses this, and the other part they already have all the notes for. So everything prior to this, they did, um, they did the web address for Amazon. If they have any other web address, they'll have to get that, and they do have to take some notes. Um, and this was done in class. So this part was done in class. We talked about it. They wrote it down. Hope this video helps with your STEM research.